everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl Whitney and today we are back at it again with another writer scope okay so this segment of my channel is the advice platform right so you guys send me whatever advice you need to my email and you guys are automatically anonymous I sometimes have polls I sometimes have polls <laughs> that's it pretty much like if I feel like there's multiple things to do it's definitely gonna show up in the corner and you guys can vote you guys can interact leave your comments down below tell these people what they need to do with their problem because I could possibly not give the best advice right like if someone co-signs let me know if someone thinks that they should go in a different route let them know right this is a community and we're trying to build together so as you guys see the email on the screen don't be shy send me updates on what you've done if you see that I did a writer scope on your um, advice and also send me whatever you need and I'll hopefully hopefully do the best that I can don't forget I always try to help everyone and anyone even if it is just one person so I thank you guys for showing me the energy and the love and the care let's get right on into this video so today we got a little short one and okay let's just you already know that <laughs> is gonna be on the screen. It's right here. Let's get right on into it. Hi, I've been in a relationship with my boyfriend for four years and two months. Well, I was with my boyfriend for four years and two months. Did I read that wrong? No, no, okay, okay, okay. We recently just broke up two, almost three months ago and I really need advice on how to get over him. Ooh. First, watch my how to get over a heartbreak video. That's one thing that I genuinely believe that you should you should definitely watch. Um, he also is dating a girl who was his friend during our entire relationship. He told me not to worry about her. And as soon as we break up, they started dating. Of course, like, of course, right? Honestly, I believe that they started dating, maybe not officially, but definitely talking at the end of our relationship. I went through his phone right after we broke up and we hadn't even been broken up for a two week period before they started flirting and planning to hang out. Should I confront them about this? I'm still hurting right now and I feel like I need answers to properly, properly move on. I don't know what to do. Number one, you are still healing, okay? So I <laughs> I already know what to tell you to do, girl. Like, ugh, like, cause I'm telling you, like this was me like a year ago. Listen, ugh, girl, four years is a long time. Four years is a long time to just get over somebody in two weeks, okay? Like he, you definitely need to move on because he is not the one for you, okay? Some men always tell this narrative that like, oh, that's my friend or like, there's nothing wrong. You don't need to worry about her. But if they're not sending boundaries, then you need to worry about her, okay? And so the thing is, is like, if that female is not setting boundaries as well like she's definitely crossing a line definitely knowing that you guys are in a relationship like it's just a recipe for dis disaster because the man's not helping out like he's not setting boundaries and the female is definitely crossing boundaries like who's respecting you in this moment right i feel like you need to take the time for yourself you need to gradually progressively get over him and check out my video talking about how to get over heartbreaks but like the thing is is like no you should not confront him you i definitely believe that you should not confront him because what is it gonna do you're just gonna get your feelings hurt like what are you gonna ask him were you guys talking towards the end of our relationship he could say no and lie straight to your face you know what i mean and the fact that he's dating somebody two weeks after you guys broke up like that tells me like <sighs> that he got over you like super fast. He possibly didn't care, stopped caring well before the breakup. And also like in this, in another type of, you know, world, he could also be going through his own personal healing and maybe regret what he's doing now and apologize to you later, which also sucks. But no, 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 do not confront him because it is not going to work out. Like it's not going to work in your favor. What do you think is going to happen? It's just going to start another argument and I don't think you'll be getting the proper closure that you need. So especially with that sort of confrontation because you're like, you told me, what are you going to say? Like you told me not to worry about her, but now you guys are dating. <sighs> I'm not going to lie to you. Like it does suck. Like I know I can... I can feel what you're feeling. It does suck because you're like, you told me not to worry about her. 
but now you guys are dating so who lied here like that don't make no type of sense how you guys are dating you guys should just be friends you guys shouldn't be anything more and then also if it was like if it was like months and then they ended up started dating then okay that's like something that grew over time right or like they had underlying feelings for each other while they were friends but didn't act on it right but two weeks no he's not respecting you my girl like he's not respecting you at all and so what i want to tell you to do is stop all contact with him don't follow them on social media don't figure out what they're doing today tomorrow or like why they're dating now when we just broke up like i know you love him and this is you know easier said than done but i don't think he's the one for you when he's out here playing you like that like let's be real like this is kind of ridiculous basically what i'm seeing in your email is a lot of hurt and you just want him to tell the truth like you want to get an answer that you already know like right like you already know the answer to your question and you just want confirmation and it's not healthy because i don't think that you confronting him about whether or not they were talking while you were dating is going to help like i have me personally i have speculations of like the past relationship that I was in that that was going on but I'm not going to confirm or deny because I know that I like will do one of two things I will completely shut down and be like mad like I want to be super duper depressed because it's like I no longer have ties to that but it's just like bro but I thought I meant something to you or I'm going to be like incredibly angry well i don't know if i'm telling the full truth here because yes i'm going to feel those things i'm going to be incredibly angry because it's like like you really are a crappy dude like wow i really thought you were somebody different but turns out no you suck just like all the other men who suck and i'm not saying all men suck i'm just saying like he's now in that category right like your man will now be in that category if he confirmed or did, if he confirmed that he was talking to this girl while you guys were dating right and so I know if I'm being 1000% honest, I would feel all those things, but then I'd also feel like a weird calm, like I knew it, I knew it. Like I already knew that the, you were this type of person, I knew it. And then I'll continue forward because like, what is it gonna do for me? It's not gonna do anything, but it's not gonna make me happy. Like it's gonna, the only thing it's gonna do and the only way it's going to affect me is negatively. That's literally the only thing that it's going to do. So no, I don't think that you should confront him at all. I do think that you should like cease all contact. Don't see him at all on any social media platform. He has to literally not exist to you and you have to cope with not being with that person anymore. You have to readjust your lifestyle to not being with him anymore. And I want you to definitely, 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 definitely find yourself. I'm not saying you lost yourself or anything like that, but like take up your time so that way you're not always thinking about what they're doing, what they're up to. Like, why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? When he told me not to worry about her. Obviously you were worrying about her for a reason. So like, he sucks for that. Like that sucks. So just basically to recap everything, I, this is what you need to do, girl. Like, I want you to not go looking for your next prospect, meaning like, I want you to stay single. I want you to stay to yourself. And I definitely want, not stay to yourself, like don't hang out with your friends, but I'm meaning like, learn to love being single, right? Learn to figure out what you want. Learn to figure out what you will and won't accept in the next relationship. Don't go out looking for the next guy because you're not going to be healthy in that relationship when you just got out of a four-year relationship, right? You might have a lot of problems and you don't want to create a rebound. Fill up your time. Don't get excessively drunk, right? Like I want you to stay Compose. I want you to try to keep your emotions in check and I'm not saying sweep them under the rug I just want you to say to bring them to light bring this to attention define these emotions and and kind of Give yourself solutions, right? Like what are you gonna do next? So that way you don't feel like this ever again And that'd be like not dating this type of person, right? Recognizing the signs when they're a jerk, right? Like things like that. That's what I'm meaning remind yourself who you are that you're the baddest bitch there is and nobody is going to tear down your walls but also like I said right allow yourself to feel and I want you to do this outside of him you don't need him to do this if you need closure like I'm not talking about asking him when they started dating I'm meaning like why did we break up what happened where do you think I failed in the relationship do you think that this will ever happen again 
and you have to accept those answers if you want those that closure but at the same time if you already got your closure and, and you're pissed because he's doing this he's not the man for you and I know that's kind of strong to say because it's like all I got was a paragraph what you mean like you don't know my life right like you don't know our bond or anything like that and you're right I don't all I know is how he treated you and how he's currently playing you right now and how he's currently like holding hands with this girl that he told you not to have anything to worry about right like don't worry about her so obviously he was having feelings for this person and to me in my eyes that's a form of cheating because it's like you know you have feelings for this person you're steady dating me you're steady hanging out with them you're being intimate with them on multiple levels like not even sexually because you can be intimate with people on multiple levels and you're lying to me and telling me not to worry about it that's emotional cheating to me and I don't appreciate that at all and it's not something that you need to handle like by any means necessary so hopefully hopefully I helped you out today I'm going to leave a poll up you know whatever corner it is guys let her know what she should do I think that she should move on and work towards getting over the heartbreak and not look back at this guy ever again if you think that maybe she should ask him and confront him let her know Give an explanation down in the comments below because I would love to know why you think that, right? Like, I'm like, no, like, stay clear. That is a big X. Like, don't go down that road because it's just going to hurt you, right? And also, what you can also do is, like, potentially, potentially hang out with your friends more often. Maybe fill up your time to the point to where you're not thinking about so much so what the other people are doing. I hope that I helped you out today. I know that this is kind of short, but I do believe that you can overcome this and don't think it's going to happen super quick because it's been about three months now and it might be longer, you know, it might be triple that. And I want you to take the time to get to your best health possible. So that way, when a guy comes along, you can know whether or not he's healthy, whether or not like healthy as far as like a healthy relationship, whether or not it's going to work, whether or not you still have some damage from that relationship. You can work on your trust issues, you know, because like I'm not saying you have trust issues but I'm saying if you do right like because that situation would definitely cause me to have trust issues and you can just work on yourself and don't necessarily be so angry right at him or anything like that because of he said one thing and is doing another because you can only control the actions of yourself and it's sad to say, you know, you want to take people's words for it, but it's like, dang, sometimes you really can't. And I'm so sorry for that. I really am so sorry for that. So thank you for writing to me today. I greatly appreciate it. Hopefully I returned the favor and helped you out. You know, like, I genuinely wish you the best. And I let me know what you decide. Don't forget to send me another email. Like, if you want to, of course, let me know what you decide. Or if... I was about to say leave it down in the comments below but you're probably not going to want to do that because you want it to rename, remain anonymous so you don't have to do that but let me know give me an update and I appreciate the contact today don't forget guys my email is on the screen you can send in whatever advice you need whatever troubles you have it literally does not matter um, also there is a playlist of a writer scope if you guys want to catch up on all the other videos we are building guys let's continue to grow together I will like I said keep everything on anonymous don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss when I post a new video. Thank you guys, and I'll see you next week.